Listen, I don't know who needs to hear this tonight, but I feel like there's a group of people out there right now and you're dwelling with this, within this place of self-condemnation. So every past mistake, every bad decision you ever made in life, every negative thing that somebody's spoken over you, every negative thing that your family members said about you. Ah, look what you did. Remember what you did five years ago? Remember when you used to be like this? Remember when you did this? And you're allowing not only the world to disqualify you, but you're disqualifying yourself. And what God has qualified, this world cannot disqualify. Understand something. What the world sees as disqualification, God sees as qualification. Amen. God does what doesn't make sense. God can take a man who's been through everything. God can take a man who's been through pain and trauma. God can take a man who's made every mistake in the book and understand something. Those bad decisions and those past mistakes are actually what qualifies you. Those are actually the things that give you the experience and the wisdom to impact nations. Understand that. Stop self-condemning yourself. When you are in Christ, there is no self-condemnation. Understand something. Listen, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 16 through 17 reads, So if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation, meaning he is born again. Everything old has passed away. I'm going to read that again. It says everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. So that same spirit that rose Jesus Christ from the dead now lives within you and through you. Everything old has passed away. Stop dwelling on your past mistakes. Stop dwelling on every negative thing that anybody ever said about you. Stop dwelling on those bad decisions. Amen. They no longer apply according to where God has taken you. I break and release you right now from every self-inflicted word curse that you have spoken over yourself. And I break and release you from every word curse spoken over you by others in the name of Jesus. The devil is a liar. Listen, when Abraham, I'm not, I'm sorry, not Abraham, but when Lot and his wife, when Lot and his wife were running out of Sodom and Gomorrah, Sodom and Gomorrah was burning up. Correct. And God said, he told them they were going to make it. But God said, do not look back. Whatever you do, don't look back. Lot's wife looked back and what happened? She ended up turning to ashes. So understand, when you are dwelling in your past mistakes, when you are dwelling in your bad decisions, you're constantly looking back. Not only are you eliminating the greater blessings and opportunities God has for you in life. You're allowing the enemy to convince you to kill yourself. So your flesh is still alive, but spiritually you're dead. Spiritually, your soul is trapped in a cage. You're destroying yourself. You're slowly deteriorating. But listen, when you are born again in Christ Jesus, understand something. Jesus already paid the price for everything that you have done in, in life, for every past mistake that you have made in this life. What you did in the past, it no longer applies. Jesus paid that price. And listen, God says, I made man in my image and in my likeness. Likeness means to function like. So that same ability, God gave you the ability to function like him. And I don't know who needed to hear this tonight, but when you are in Christ Jesus, you are born again. You are a new creation, meaning there is no self-condemnation. And you too shall rise from the ashes. Amen. I love y'all and God bless. Let's get it.